Hey guys, welcome back to another episode from You Decide. In our last video, we touched on FCA, and in today's video, we'll touch on FAS. Now that you've got the hang of it, you can easily identify through the table the responsibilities of the buyer and the seller in each INCO term, and choose an appropriate one for your international trade transactions. So let's begin. So what is FAS? FAS stands for Free Alongside Ship. So under the FAS agreement, the seller is responsible for leaving the goods alongside the ship, at which the buyer assumes all ongoing costs, risks and logistics. So it's similar to FCA, but it's slightly different. I'll explain that in a bit. So usually uh, this is used for sea freight and inland waterway shipments. So the importers or the buyers usually use this INCO term when shipping large pieces of machinery. So these are usually loaded onto a barge. So it's the seller's responsibility to load these large pieces of machinery or goods onto a barge. So what is a barge? So a barge is basically a flat bottomed boat used for carrying freight on uh, canals or rivers under its own power or towed by another. So as I said, the seller is responsible for organizing the barge and making sure the goods arrive alongside the buyer's vessel where the buyer takes over. So as you can see in the table, which you're now familiar with, um, the obligations and charges of the seller are export packaging, the loading charges, the delivery to port or place. As I said, the seller cannot leave the goods at the port. So they have to deliver the goods alongside the buyer's vessel. And how do they do that? They use a barge, right? We got that. And the next thing the seller is responsible for is the export duty, taxes and customs clearance, as well as the or uh, original terminal charges. From there, the buyer takes over and he takes the goods from the barge, loads onto the vessel. He's responsible for the loading on carriage, uh, carriage charges, the insurance can be split between either parties the destination terminal charges, delivery to destination, unloading at destination, import duty, taxes, and customs clearance. Okay, so now we can move a little faster with these terms now that you're familiar with the table and see you in the next video on FOB. Thanks for listening. Ciao for now.